here in the North Georgia mountains, elderberries are getting ripe. I use them to make syrup. Elderberry syrup is delicious and it helps prepare your immune system for cold and flu season. There's the house. And you come right down here and here's a bunch of trees, bushes. And see that? There's an elderberry. I came out here yesterday and picked some. There's the few I got in my bucket. I just take my scissors and just chop them off. And I'm going to make elderberry juice. Now some of them are still green. See there? And those are down here on the ground. It's a wonder the deer hadn't got them, but I'm glad they didn't, because I want them. With school starting back, our immunity needs a boost. Elderberry syrup is safe for children, and since it tastes good, you can get them to take it. Whether the little ones take it by the spoonful or put it on their ice cream, elderberry syrup can help protect them against cold and flu germs. I think elderberries are beautiful. Look at those rich colors. Elderberries grow wild in many parts of the world. There are many varieties, but none of them should ever be eaten raw. One ripe berry won't hurt you, but a handful might make you sick. Elderberry seeds, leaves, and stems contain cyanide, which makes them toxic. That is why I always cook my elderberries and strain out everything but the juice. They're not really good just to eat, but I'm going to eat one. See how juicy they are? I'll cook that down and make elderberry syrup. Fresh elderberries can be found in the wild, or you can grow them in your yard. They are easy to grow. Easy to harvest. All you need is a bucket and a pair of scissors. Elderberries are ripe, and I've got a bunch to work up to make syrup. And I'm taking them off the stems, and I'm putting them in this big bowl. I'll wash them, and then I'll bring them to a quick simmer, and then cool them down, strain them through a jelly bag, and I'll be ready to make my syrup. A gallon of elderberries will make around eight pints of elderberry syrup. You can find dozens of recipes online. Some people boil their berries, but I don't. I bring mine to just a simmer and then remove them from the heat. High heat can kill many of the beneficial properties of the berries. My favorite way to enjoy elderberry syrup is with ginger ale. I like it over ice with a twist of lemon. I also take elderberry syrup by the spoonful. Elderberries fight cold and flu germs for sure. But they're also good for coughs, sore throats, and constipation. A dose of elderberry syrup can get the whole digestive system moving. Elderberries contain high levels of vitamins and minerals, polyphenols, and antioxidants that keep our heart and brain cells healthy. These little purple berries are nutritional superfoods and should be in everyone's pantry. If you're interested in making homemade elderberry syrup, visit my website at evergreenherb.com. Click on herbs, then on elderberries to find recipes and lots more information. Thanks for watching my video. And if you are on YouTube, please give me a thumbs up. Until next time, may God bless you and your loved ones. Also, may he protect all the children and teachers as they return to the classroom. Bye for now and see you later.